Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed your Easter weekend, a little bit of extra time off, and you're ready to get right back into school. Uh, so we're going to look at our grammar today. Let me give you a couple of reminders before we do. Uh, just a reminder that you have your book report book choices due today. So please make sure that you comment on Google Classroom or send me a message and let me know what book that you have chosen to read. If you have any questions or concerns about that, please make sure to get in contact with me. Uh, secondly, a reminder that your spelling vocabulary quiz is tomorrow, so please make sure that you study uh, List 22 and that you are ready for that quiz tomorrow. And then we do have a grammar test coming up on Wednesday. So if you would go ahead and take your grammar books and open up to page 291, we're going to be looking at a few exercises today to help us as we review getting ready for that test coming up on Wednesday. All right, so let's look at page 291, exercise E. You need to cross out the incorrect form or circle the correct one, whichever way you like to do it is fine. So exercise E number one, what should we choose? The boy, I hope you said became ill after he ate six green apples. Number two, mother brought in the radishes from the garden and set them in the colander. When you're doing it to something, it is set. Number three, you should say, may I, because you are asking permission, not ability, may I teach you. Good. Number four, asthmatics may be, now which affected do we need to choose here? I hope you said A, affected with an A. Remember, affected with the A is the action, okay? May be affected. Number five, the child, be careful, lay sleeping. Remember, laid with the D is when you're doing it to something. She laid the book on the table, okay? The child lay sleeping. Number six, Christians, Ought. Remember, we don't say had ought. We just say ought. Number seven, the halftime activities have already, I hope you chose begun, have begun. Number eight, Jack has ridden his bike into town to visit Logan in the hospital. All right, exercise F. Cross out each incorrect verb and write the correct verb form above it. So number one, the spy snuck into the officer's headquarters and stole the papers. I hope you see two things wrong here. First of all, snuck, it's not a word. Sneaked, right? He sneaked to the office and stole. You should just cross out the D. Stole the papers. Number two, the tourist swum in the Gulf of Mexico, swam in the Gulf of Mexico, and one of them, we don't say drowned, we just say drowned, okay? Number three, Aunt Mary has drove all the way from Rhode Island, should be has driven. Number four, he used to could carry several panes, should be, he used to be able to, good, but this time he busted one of them. Remember, we don't say busted. He what? Broke one of them. Good. Number five, the girl didn't go to be impolite. Should be the girl didn't mean to be impolite when she saw her mistake. Good. Number six, he done the report for extra credit and lay on the teacher's desks. Two things needs to be changed here. Number one, done should be did. And number two, Lay should be laid because he's doing it to the report, right? So it's laid. Number seven, the boss's statement inferred that Joshua would be receiving a promotion. Instead of inferred, it should be what? Implied, correct. All right, exercise G, subject verb agreement. Okay, number one, what is the problems or what are the problems that we need to solve? I hope you said R. Good. Number two, the out of town the out of town softball team isn't here yet. Remember, team is one of those collective nouns. It's a group functioning as one, so we need a singular noun. Number three, oh, we have neither nor. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember our rule with neither nor. We have neither nor. We're going to agree with the closest subject to the verb. So neither Jared nor his parents. Parents is closer to the verb, so we want it to agree with parents. So parents are planning. Number four, Rocky Mountain sheep are called bighorn sheep. Okay, plural. Number five, electronics are or is the course of study. I hope you said is. Remember when we have those ICS words, uh, ethics, economics, electronics, um, we're talking about a course of study. It's always going to be singular. Number six, there don't or doesn't seem to be enough. Well, let's see. There doesn't, as I hope what you said, seem to be enough. Number seven, the lotus eaters 
is, because we're talking about one poem, is a poem. Number eight, both and. What do we do when we have both and? We need plural, right? So both the flapjacks and the bacon have been placed. Number nine, his stamina. I hope you said was the key element. And number 10, celery belongs. Good. All right. Exercise H, using pronouns. This is the one where we tend to have a lot of mistakes. So let's be careful here. Okay. Cross out any incorrect pronouns and write the correct one there. Each of the girls in our production of Little Women made their own costume. Now, if a sentence is correct, you write a C next to it. But I will tell you, this one is not correct. Do you see the problem? Each is singular. So therefore, their is incorrect because that is plural. Each of the girls made her own costume. We ignore of the girls, ignore that prepositional phrase. Okay, each is singular. So the pronoun needs to be singular. Number two, our agricultural club chose new officers. Isaac, Carlos, and he. Is it correct or do we have a problem? Well, let's see. Officers. Club chose officers. Officers is a direct object. Isaac, Carlos, and he, those are a positives for the direct object, so they need to be an objective case. He is nominative case. So then we need to say him, Isaac, Carlos, and him. Number nine, we always enjoyed him playing the banjo he had made his self. Two problems here. I hope the first obvious one was his self. That's not a word. It should be himself. Do you see what the other one should be? Him should be his. Remember, we always use possessive case before a gerund. So we enjoyed his playing the banjo. Okay. Number four, neither Erica nor Vicky has planned her Thanksgiving vacation yet. I hope you said correct. This one is correct because we have neither nor, right? So we're going to use singular because we're talking about the closest one to the verb, right? So singular. Number five, all passengers in the loading area must have his luggage checked. Well, let's look at our subject, all. Some, any, none, all, most. Those are always plural, right? Some, any, none, all, most. No. Hmm. Those ones can be plural or singular, right? Remember, both, few, several, many. Always plural. Some, any, none, all, most can be singular or plural. So we have to look at what comes after it. All passengers. Well, passengers is plural. So then I'm going to choose there instead of his luggage. It needs to be their luggage. Number six, the questions on the driver's license exam were answered correctly by Beth and I. Well, it's acting as the object of the preposition by, so we need object of case. So it'd be by Beth and me. Number seven, us Christians are more than conquerors. Well, remember when you have like this, take out the positive Christians, would we say us are more than conquerors? No, we would say we are more than conquerors. Number eight, Rick Mattis can play soccer almost as well as him. Well, remember, finish the sentence in your head. Almost as well as him can play? No, we would say as he can play. So it needs to be he. Number nine, each of the dogwood trees in the yard has its blossoms already. Each is always singular, okay? No matter what comes after it. It's not on that list. Both few, several, many, always plural. Some, any, none, all, most can be plural or singular, depending. Each is always singular. Each has its blossoms. So that one is correct. Number 10, extra help was given to whoever asked for it or whomever asked for it. Which one? I almost gave it, kind of gave it away there, right? It's whoever because it's acting like the subject of the clause, whoever asked. Okay, so it's the subject of the clause, so we need nominative case. It needs whoever. All right, exercise I using nouns. All right, so if you see a noun clause, put a bracket around it. If you see a gerund phrase, remember that's a verbal, okay, action like a noun, put parentheses around it, underline infinitives. Remember, infinitives are two plus a verb. Above each clause or phrase, then tell me what it's doing. What noun job is it doing? Is it the subject? Is it the direct object? Is it the object of the preposition? What noun job is it doing? So number one, by doing our duty, we learn to do it. You should see two things there. What is the first one? Okay, I hope you put parentheses around doing our duty because that is a gerund phrase acting as 
OP, object of the preposition. Good. The second thing you saw, I hope, was to do it, right? The infinitive, to plus a verb, to do it. What is the noun job is doing? We learn what? To do it. So it is a direct object. Number two, to write well is to think well. Two things again. Do you see them? Underline, to write well, and to think well. Okay, so to write well is an infinitive phrase doing what? I hope you said acting like the subject. To think well is an infinitive doing what? It's a linking verb. Predicate nominative, I hope you put. Number three, you can't build a reputation on what you're going to do. Look for our clue, one of our clue words there, because we have a noun clause, okay, introduced by relative pronouns, right? Who, who's, whom, which, that. Put brackets around what? What you're going to do, right? Did you catch that? Okay, now what noun job is it doing? Well, look at the word right before it, on. What is on? On is a preposition. That means the noun clause is acting like the object of the preposition. Good. Okay. And the last one there, the knowledge that Christ's return is imminent is the believer's hope. Did you see the clue word? I hope so. What did you put brackets around? That Christ's return is imminent, right? Now, what is it doing? What is a noun job that that clause is doing? Hmm. It follows knowledge, further explains or describes it. So I hope you put a positive. Good. All right, exercise J. Last one we will do for today. Exercise J. You're crossing out any incorrect words, making corrections. These, this is an exercise for adjectives. If it's correct, write correct next to the number. I will tell you there are only two that are correct. Number one, there are less apples in the basket than we thought. Is there anything wrong with it? I hope you said that less should be fewer because we use fewer with things that we can count, items that can be counted, and we could count the apples. All right. Number two, in his time, Noah was more faithfuler than any person on earth. Ooh, two problems here. First one, I hope you crossed out the lure, unfaithful, right? It should just, should just be faithful. Then any, what needs to go there? Other person, I hope you said. Good. Number three, Mike's test scores were higher than his friend. His scores were higher than his friend? No, his scores were higher than his friends, right? We're talking about the higher than his friend's scores, right? Therefore, Leo, Tolst Leo Tolstoy is one of them Russian authors. Instead of saying one of them, we should say one of those. Good. Number five, that baby has the most tiniest ears I have ever seen. What's wrong? We have a double comparison, right? You can't use most and EST. So you would just say the tiniest. Number six, Samson was stronger than any person mentioned in the Bible. We're missing a word there. He was stronger than any other person. Good. Number seven, that type of sentence is not difficult to diagram. It is correct. If you said correct, good job. Number eight, pigs need less vitamins in their diet than cows. You are correct if you said less should be fewer because it's something that we can count. Number nine, Kim's hair is as curly as her mother. Mm, what are we missing? As curly as her mother's, right? Apostrophe S. Because we mean as her mother's hair. And number 10, of Sarah's two formal gowns, so we're comparing two, this one is fancier. If you said correct, you are right. Okay, so that's what we will do for today. Tomorrow, we will do a few more review exercises, getting us ready for the test on Wednesday. Don't forget to send me your book report book choice. Don't forget to um, study for a spelling quiz tomorrow. And now watch your Cyrano video before you take the quiz. So you can know for sure what happened in those last few pages before your quiz today.